That discovery at a daycare in Noda, the owner of Little Bright Child Care Development Center told Channel 9 that she was doing her daily check of where the kids play when she found bags full of clothes, prescription pills, even syringes. Underneath the stairwell, it was, um, it was two bags, um, looked like bags with clothes in it. That owner told our Brianna Harper she was shocked to find it was full of syringes and pills, Brianna. Well, here along the plaza, there's usually plenty of traffic and a lot of activity during the day, but just steps away here at this daycare center. This is the last place you expect to see syringes and prescription drugs just feet away from children. The owner here at Little Bright Child Daycare Center says she's just glad no one got hurt. Thursday started as a normal day at Little Bright Child Care Development Center. Before we come out to play, we always are supposed to walk the playground area, you know, for safety precautions. But daycare owner Tamara Bright says this check was unlike any other. Underneath the stairwell, it was, um, it was two bags, um, looked like bags with clothes in it. She says she had no idea where the bags came from. Looked like somebody don't have a home. Immediately, she called 911, and officers came to check the bags and found clothes, several bottles of prescription drugs, and syringes inside. Parents we spoke to say they were shocked to learn what was found outside the daycare, but grateful for the quick thinking. I think the way that she acted and reporting something that she was suspicious about um, is the best thing to do. We don't touch anything that do not belong to us, and plus we always want to use safety measure at every cost. Bright says she also has cameras set up around the daycare, but unfortunately they weren't rolling at the time. She's hoping some extra help from police might keep this from happening again. Just have officer patrolling the area, coming out, and just, you know, let, uh, let them know that they can't sleep. They can sleep anywhere else, but not here. <laughs> A scary situation that fortunately turned out for the better. Thankfully, there was nothing, it wasn't as big as, as big as it could have been. Safety is first, regardless. And so far, police have not had any luck finding the person who those items belong to. Reporting live in Noda, Brianna Harper, Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 10.